when man sits down and, ma and legislates treaties and laws, they're all artificial. They're designed to keep people in line with the established system. All laws. They're not made for the benefit of man. They have no other way of controlling it. So when nations sign treaties with other nations, if they violate those treaties, they have warships to enforce them, armies and navies. So armies and navies are not to protect people. They're, protect, they're there to protect an established system. Every established system works in a similar manner. It takes the youngsters and say, what's the greatest country in the world? The youngsters say, I have the slightest idea. This country, this is the greatest country in the world. And God's on our side. Every country does that. And so you got a bunch of pinheads all over the world responding to these mechanisms of control. If you had a free society, you couldn't get people to go to war. If you had an intelligent type of upbringing in one's children, they would say there must be many other ways of solving problems other than killing people. Now here they take a group of scientists and engineers and they work on flying machines. You give them a flying machine, they use it to bomb cities. You give them dynamite, which can be used for many different purposes, and they use it to blast people to pieces. So how can a person be scientific if they have allegiance to their country rather than to the earth and everyone on it and the intelligent use of resources? This would be a scientist to me.